we talk a lot about the newcomers to the receiver room, and there's a lot of them. But, but every time we look up, Nick Matthews is out there mm-hmm. making a catch. Yeah, he's just kind of steady Eddie. You know, he's a guy that uh, you know, he does everything right. And, uh, he's a good player, and you know we probably over, you know under- underrated him a little bit a year ago. You know, he's a guy that makes plays, and that's all he does. So he finds a way to get open, a little bit like Shuler was. You know, find a way to get open, find a way to make catches, and he's done it all all camp. Well, he. You put him on scholarship at the end of spring. Do you do you see that switch turn when a kid goes into the offseason and they get that scholarship? Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he played like that when he was a walk-on. So you know, he likes football and it's important to him. And you know, he's a tough kid that uh, you know he's, he studies the game. And like I say, he's been very consistent since he's been here. And and uh, he's now it's time to play. And he's looked like he's ready to play. I know that the third phase of the game has been very important to you all and, and important to the success over the last few years. I know we focus a lot on offense and defense, but where did you see the need for improvement in, uh, from 2016 in that phase? Special teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, well, you know, we had to get we had the guys catching the ball. We had to get more explosive. I think we got more guys there now than we've had. I think uh, the Rodriguez kid, you guys see him running around a little bit. He's an excellent punt returner, and he's just a, a dynamic guy there. I think with the addition of uh, Marcel Williams, also gives you another guy that can catch punts and. You know, Keon had some good uh, runs a year ago. Kickoff return. You had Willie back there, healthy Willie, and so we got. I think we got more guys that have the opportunity to be explosive there. And then when you get better on defense and and you get better players in there, this you know you you're better off in your, all all your aspects of it because you know you get better guys in there that are covering kicks, doing those things. I think Vedwick can our, and the punt game. I, I like what I've seen out well, all three of those punters. Vedwick is a has done a great job, and then uh, I think Bevy's doing a nice job with the, kicker, with the kicking game, too, so we'll see where it goes. You look at Conference USA's average margin of victory, and with it being under a touchdown, do you feel like the, the third phase is underrated? No, I don't think it's, I mean, if you look, you know, we've been really good. I mean, we were number one in the country the year we won 10 games. We weren't great on offense, but we're number one in the conference in total defense and number one in the country in special teams. So if we can play defense and, and, and be tremendous on special teams and just don't turn the ball over on offense, we have a chance to be good. Your linebacking core, a lot of infusion of talent in the last year or two, but you got two gray beards, Hancock and Hernandez. I mean, how, and, and they're still competing. It's hard to think of Frankie as a gray beard, but you're right, he's been here three years now. So, you know, I think those guys have all gotten better. And I think the addition of Juwan Young's helped us. Uh, you know, Mari Cobb's 30 pounds heavier than he was a year ago. And the addition of Artis, you know, he's a, he's an excellent player out there. So. I think, uh, and Yuli. I mean, Yuli's a young guy that doesn't look like a young guy at times. So I think with all those guys, uh, you know, we're going to doubt a little better there. How's Chase? How's Chase? Uh, has he come along a little bit from yeah. even a year ago? I yeah, mean, yeah, how's yeah, he? Yeah. You know, he's making the right reads and a lot further ahead as far as the offense is concerned. And, you know, Todd's done a great job with him and uh, he just continues to get better. Jawan Young, I know that he can't play the first four of this season, but how have you seen him be a leader throughout the the preseason for some of those young guys that are in their first camp? Well, he does. I mean, he's a guy that's uh, you know he's really a tremendous player, but he's also a, a guy that uh, you know he does step up and lead, and not only by example, but he you know, he gets after the guys and, and uh, holds them accountable, and that's what that's what you need in that room. When do you? Uh, at what point do you say, okay, we've got to prepare, we've got to dial back Jawan to second yeah. team? Or, you know, well, yeah, you, got, to, you got to dial him back to, to not being in there at all at some point. Yeah, that's what I meant. But yeah. you know, he's you know, he, it's kind of crazy. We got four weeks from still four weeks left. And yeah. It's hard to believe we still have four weeks left. But I'm sure he'll go all this week and some next week in the last two weeks. You know, we got to keep him going as far as conditioning all that goes. We got to get those other guys ready to go. How, on the flip side of that, how good is it to know that during scout team week he's going to be getting those guys right and ready as well? Yeah, I'm not sure how much scout team he's going to play. He still needs to be around us and be around these players and continue to learn. So he'll probably most of his time will be spent with us, with, with not with us, but with the defense. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you.